What's good, YouTube? Bringing you some more NFL head coach. I am your king, king of Let's Plays. I know I'm trying to mix up the intros here, but today we are returning with some uh, head coach with the Houston Texans, and today is going to be a sad day. This is the day that we make a, a relatively easy game extremely hard, because for today's episode, we're going to go ahead and fire almost or well, pretty much every player that has 85 overall if we can't trade them or I feel like I can cut them and you know save some money that way that's what we're gonna do and it sucks it really really does suck <laughs> I, I really wish I could trade right away but I just can't but um, I appreciate all the love and support for the series I know it's kind of unconventional I still haven't got this algorithm thing down yet so gotta figure out a way to do it but basically uh, we gotta get rid of Dominic Davis our legendary wide receiver Andre Johnson must go excuse me uh, Chester Pitts he could stay because he's 82 overall we have no left guard because both of the ones that we had were 85 overall so we had to get rid of him uh, McKinney right here we have to get rid of yeah, I want to see if I could trade him instead of just cutting him. A lot of these players are over, like Wade right here. And this guy, yeah, we're going to have to trade both of them, which sucks. And this guy, I really want to get rid of, but, you know, he's going to have to play out of his mind in order to stay on this roster. Uh, Pain as well. Who else we got here? Babin. Greenwood. Oh, we got to get rid of Wong. Oh, man. I don't think anybody would pick him up for like a fifth or sixth round pick. Corner. Then we have to get rid of our two outstanding cornerbacks and uh, Buchanan and Robinson and Coleman as well. Jeez, there's gonna be nobody back there. <laughs> Chris Brown, 77 overall. We had to get rid of our punter. So basically. I gotta get rid of some people and sadly enough David Carr is gonna be a very high paid backup quarterback but let's go ahead and see who I can bring in for free agency right quick uh, on the QB side hopefully I'm speaking loud enough who we got here a slaughter nope there we go let's see about running backs we got Anderson we got Ahmad Green from the Green Bay Packers. The the Texans made that move, and it was the worst move in franchise history <laughs> outside the sign of Brock Osweiler. So, oh, we got Willie Parker. And the Steelers guy, he was pretty good. We got Jerome Bettis. We could bring in the bus. Oh, man, this game realizes what, I, what I've done. Ken Simpson. Okay, so that's all the notable running backs we got let's see about wide receivers oh, we got Javar Gaffney unfortunately we can't bring him in because he was one of our original players so he can't count dang there's no real good wide receiver tight ends we got Chad Lewis here who is old uh, we got Ricks who was also old Johnson Walker Ben Steely not that many good tight ends. Let's see left tackles. Okay, we got Victor Riley. He goes real up there. Ferber, Drayson. Look, this is what we need right here. A, a big left tackle. And this this is what we need. So we're going to sign ourselves a left tackle. Uh, oh, look at that. He doesn't want that much money because he knows his, his retirement is inevitable. So that will work out for us. Oh, goodness. I need a big left guard. Matt McCoy, welcome to the team. You are 6'8". You want a one-year deal? That works out perfectly fine with me. Do we have any giant centers? Oh, I see one. Drew Sario. Sir Johnny, I don't know how to pronounce that. But you want a three-year deal, that's fine by me. Welcome to the squad. You're 6'8". 
with room to improve. So let's go to our post combine meeting. Let's get some scouting going for other teams so we can trade for players. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, y'all. I really don't. This is this is something I've never tried before. And it's just 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 something to change it up. I mean I could play this game straightforward, win a ton of Super Bowls, but it wouldn't That's be that cool. much of a yeah. challenge with the Texans. I mean, the game makes it too easy. I'm joking. It's very, very hard. <laughs> so uh. let me go ahead and scout some other team players that I may want. Um, I'm going off of the conventional wisdom of like, okay, players that could help us right now. Because what we need, to be honest with y'all, is a quarterback. David Carr ain't it. So I'm going to be looking around the league for backup quarterbacks that could turn into good quarterbacks. Someone like, oh, I don't know, Matt Schaub. Ooh, he turned to be 73 overall, which isn't bad, but it's worse than David Carr that we got right now. So time to nab. Who the Dolphins had? They didn't have no good quarterbacks, did they? Cowboys, of course they didn't. Oh, we got Tony Romo. <laughs> oh, the game. The game doesn't like Tony Romo. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, the Chiefs they didn't have no quarterbacks. Ooh, Phillip Rivers. The controversy between these two. That's an interesting find right there. Uh, who else we got? Buccaneers. Nobody good on Buccaneers. The Browns. Ha. Uh. Nobody was good. JP Lossman, he wasn't that good. I tried him with the other save and he he just threw a whole bunch of picks. I don't want to go back down that route. <laughs> Carson Palmer with the Bengals is outstanding, but we'll never get him. Rex Grossman, I don't think so. What I'm looking for is the Green Bay Packers. Where is he? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get the rookie that they got last year. Aaron freaking Rodgers. This dude, I, I would be so thrilled if I can get him. But that should do it for as far as uh, quarterbacks go. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice, tall wide receiver. Speed, no, they're just. I'm gonna just have to go by overall. Let's say I want a. And uh, a good overall wide receiver, someone that's like this guy, 6'3", 220 pounds. Somebody that will go up there and get the ball every single time. That's what I'm looking for. Nope. Ooh, Randy Moss would be nice to have, but I'd be in the same situation if I traded for him. I want someone that's kind of lesser known. Saints. Come on, there's got to be somebody. Ooh, 6'5. But he's ancient. I don't think I want him. He's too he's too old. And Doyle. Tennessee Titans. Still kind of old. Marcus Robinson's old. Man, is it so hard to find a tall wide receiver? <laughs> In this draft class, look at that. Look at this guy right here. 6'7", 175. Uh, Jeremy Bloom and Miles Austin. I know about Miles Austin. Imagine having them two to throw to. So that's something I could look into. See, the Bears only have Houston Mazada, Chad, and nobody else. Josh Reed, the Broncos. Oh uh, man, Braylon Edwards. Hmm. Michael Creighton. That would be nice to have, but I don't think it's necessary. A Larry Fitzgerald. I've done Larry Fitzgerald too many times. The Cardinals would just give that man up for any type of first-round pick, which is kind of sad. Let's see here, Colts. Of course, they're not got anybody good. Keyshawn Johnson, but he's old as dirt. 
<laughs> that should be about it. Oh wait, wait, who's this? Terrell Owens? I don't think so. I don't want that 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 headache in our locker room. Oh no. <laughs> A plexico burst. Hmm. He is. Don't get me wrong. He is old, but he he could probably play. I'm gonna think about that one. Edwards. Lions. Michael Williams from Texas. That's a good find. And we're back to the other wide receivers. Okay, so all I got left is the draft pick people. And this was these two. This guy and Miles Austin. So I'll scout those two. And hopefully I can change this signing period to a trade. Yes, I can. So we're going to go ahead and trade away our entire franchise. Goodness. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if me trading away these people just got me openly fired. I've never tried that. You know, just trade away all your best players and see. What could happen? All right, so we're gonna go to, sorry, I went to the wrong place. The actual phone line, I forgot. That's how you have to do trades nowadays. We are gonna go to Green Bay and say, hey, how you doing? I, I, think, I, I think I got something, I think you got something I want, you see. I hear you got this quarterback here, and see. I got this, uh, uh, I got this uh, free safety here. He's kinda old, but. You want you want to trade him? He said, "Just sign on the dot and Ryan, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves an Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I think that I think that about does it. Thank you very much. Okay, so with that out of the way, gave up one of the best free safeties in all the land for a backup slash starter slash we are in trouble type of quarterback, which is okay." Which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and mess up the Detroit Lions as well. <laughs> Probably pluck off their best wide receiver. Where is he? Mike Williams to replace Andre Johnson. Select a player. Speaking of the devil, we shall give you Andre Johnson. Oh, at this rate, it's going to be a long day. That's perfectly fine. Let's see. Uh, what if we give you our second round draft pick as well? Will that help society? Still too lopsided? I guess we don't got no deal, my dude. I ain't going to spend that much time on this. Uh, who else could we get? What other team was there? Hmm. I could do Plessico Burris, but I don't want that. Everybody else is kind of in the draft. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to trade with some people that got high, uh, high third and high fourth and fifth round draft picks. So we're going to go to Arizona. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you, my dude. Hey, I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for yo. Your fourth, asking for your fifth. Yeah, those two picks. Let's see, and I'll give you. Goodness, man, this is just sad. I'll give you my outstanding right tackle. It's been great working with you. It's just sad. Well, we're we're getting we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta find someone that's willing to take Andre Johnson's salary cap. I think that's what's holding back that trade. But I, I will do that this episode because, man, it's going to take a lot. I just realized that. I think he has a seven-year deal for like $60 million total. That's probably why a lot of people are like, well, oh, we don't want this guy. <laughs> I say a lot of people, but I just mean the, uh, the dang lions. You're like we'll take we'll keep Keyshawn. You know he's only five million dollars a year. 
let's see here let's go ahead and think of someone that we want to trade away still got this guy okay let's go ahead and get some more fourth and fifth round draft picks so got something from the 49ers let's see what they got yes I would like to trade with you I would like to pick up a running back if I can if he's still here there he is I want Frank Gore and I will trade you because I know we'll never meet in the Super Bowl I will trade you Andre Johnson and you shall give me your fourth and your fifth let's see what they say hopefully they say yes this will result in wait what submit the trade will result in the users team having more than the maximum number of players allowed wait what how excuse me I have 33 players and they have 53 I'm giving them one player I'm taking one player away what this should be acceptable does it mean I meet the the minimum like I have like the less instead of maximum okay well then let's take away the fifth round pick and let's pick up a player shall we I guess another player who could I possibly get now Eric Johnson for sure got any tall tackles or that dude is old though good center no good no Ooh, Harris here oh, we'll get this guy because he's less overall all right let's do it so I got that out of the way Andre Johnson is no no more <sighs> it sucks to say that but it's true he is gone we are changing the NFC uh, <laughs> let's see if we can uh, change it some more what's another weak team in the NFC during this time period um I think the Rams right no nah, it was the Redskins let's let's hurt let's hurt the Cowboys some more yeah let's, let's trade with the Redskins I bet they got some people give me some of them draft picks give me that fourth give me that fifth and I shall give you a running back oh I actually have to pick a player oh well this this just screwed that entire deal let's see who the worst player they got drone oh man he's some there's some awful awful choices down here at the bottom let's see if he'll accept it they don't mean like draft picks right okay let's get rid of this and pick up their horrible player I'm sorry y'all if this is taking too long I'm trying to figure out what's what I guess I could sign this dude and then cut him trade will result in the users having more than the maximum allowed of picks so that's what that is okay so I guess I have to trade for players huh well I guess no deal shoot I think I didn't know there was a limit on how many draft picks I had that kind of changes my whole philosophy now. Huh. Let's go to the Dolphins. I know what y'all saying. Well, what could the Dolphins possibly have? Let's select a player here. Where is he? Oh, not Taylor. It was a tight end. This guy. This is the guy I want. 
and let me select my bell of a cow halfback let me select Kyle Wong and let me select shoot we'll do Buchanan let's see what this gets us right there so we got ourselves a starting tight end which is great oh man we get, look at that getting rid of Andre Johnson gave us 52 million dollars in the salary cap with almost six million penalties that's crazy all right so I got myself a good tight end I think I need another one I just don't know where to go get one no I don't need that I need a running back now I need myself a a worthwhile running back or a good offensive lineman let's go to the computer and find myself a good center that is tall you know All right, let's go there start by overall let's go to centers not centers centers entire NFL give me someone that's tall Oh, oh, and centers are short in this game compared to these dang tackles. I mean, I guess I could just get a, a tackle and convert them to center, but I think they lose, you know, some of their attributes when you do that. So let's go to guard. Maybe a, a transition from center to guard is a less, uh, I mean, more forgiving. I saw someone at six seven, Adam Gold. It could be a good investment. So remember the Vikings. Huh. The Vikings. Who else? Uh, we got the Vikings. New York with Smith. Who might be a good one. Smith. Keep that in mind. Fred Watchfield. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to trade for with, with the Vikings. I like that guy. He seemed like he had a better overall skill set for what I'm giving up. Let's go to New York. I'd like to propose a, a trade, sir. And the reason why I'm trading within the NFC versus the AFC, I don't want the AFC to get any stronger. I'm already losing all of my players. Like... Let's see, right guards. I think I messed up. I think I did. If it was on the Vikings, now on the dang New York. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's that, it's that brain lag. When you, when you get older, you, you'll start having it. So let's go ahead and select our player. I'm going to take away your trusty right guard, my dude. Oh, no. Uh, oh, he's actually better than the other guy. Okay. So let's pick him. Let's get rid of Steve McKinney. And we shall get rid of our right tackle. Let's see. Two you get two offensive alignment for the price of one. Yes. Alright, we did some shrewd dealing there, but we got some draft picks. We got trading the guy that we need to get rid of. Whew. It's hard being this coach, trying to, you know, really actually make mistakes for once. <laughs> uh, Nick Saban, you'd be yelling at me saying, why would you do this, you idiot, and all that type of stuff. It's all right, though. I'm doing this for the betterment of the series. And what comes next, it comes next. But I think I need to find people for the defensive side of the ball now. All right, so let's see here. Okay, who needs, let's go to the Saints. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, you got, got players already. I guess I can give you, I gotta take a player from you. So who you got? You got McKenzie, Wishcox, Jamal Brown. Might not be a bad choice. I know he's 6'6", but he is a premier right tackle. So let's see. We can give you Dante Robinson. Is that a fair enough trade for you right then and there? 
No, it's not. Okay. I like where your head's at. Let's see if we can give you another one of our players. Oh, Adam's not that bad. Uh, someone that costs us a lot of money. Who is it? It's not Brown, not Earl. Oh, man. I only have two players that are over... <laughs> that are over uh, 85 overall. It's pretty awesome actually how I've destroyed this whole entire roster. But we're going to have to trade. Hmm. If I get rid of Dante Robinson, can I give up a draft pick? I got three fourth round draft picks. Oh no, I'll take and four. No, three. Three first round draft picks, fourth round draft picks, and three. I don't know how to say this. I'll give him a third. How about that? Yep, there it is. Now, what I'm who I'm going to trade with next will give us a decent running back for the next couple of years. Besides, uh, where is he? Where is he? I'm talking around in circles. Cause I'm trying to figure out where he's at. Is he with the Rams? I think he might be with the Rams. Select player, go to running backs. Yeah, this dude, Steven Jackson. I will give you, sir, a second round pick. He's 28 years old, though. Huh. Let's get rid of Chester Pitts. And we shall give you Smith. Let's see if he'll take this. This race is going to be a long day, I understand. Oh, man. Which one is more invaluable? I'd much rather keep Smith, so I'll clear him. And then I'll give up my first round draft pick. The first overall pick to the Rams for their running back. Let's draw it up. Hey, that does it. Jeez, man. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go around the league and look up some corners right quick and try to sign them. I mean, trade for them at least. There's got to be some tall corners out there. Let's see. I know this episode is going to be a little bit longer than normal. It's just because I don't know. This is the first time I'm doing all this. I'm sorry. I apologize. But hey, Aaron Rodgers got number five and he's better than David Carr. That could work. <laughs> Let's go to cornerbacks. It's a sad day, y'all. Sad, sad day. I got a 6-2 corner in Wolfolk who I would not mind having, but he's with the Titans, and I don't want to give them any type of advantage. So they're already hard enough to beat. The Bears don't have anybody that's tall. Troy James, but he is old. Nope. I know probably all you hear is clicking. That's just me, you know, checking to see. Oh, hello, Mr. Baxter. I remember you were like on a contract year or whatever. Pete Hunter. That sounds like a guy that gets burned from the bit from the uh, Browns. Jerome Borden, man, you are old. I cannot put you out there on the island. I'm looking for big, heavy uh, corners. I'm gonna be running a whole bunch of zone, and they are good tacklers. That is why you have them. Cowboys, y'all gotta have somebody that's tall. No, y'all don't. Wow. Dolphins? Nick Saban? He likes uh, versatility in his defensive backfield. Matt Ware. Dude, you seem like a trap. <laughs> if I pick him up, he seems that awareness alone. Nope. And there is no tall cornerbacks. 
Okay, I could get this Kurgus dude. You know what? I can get him and that right uh that right guard. Yeah. Yeah, that that could work. So I'm gonna go to New York. Be like, hey bruh, Coughlin, I'm talking to you, man. Listen here, alright, okay? I, I know you don't like me because I'm new and stuff, but you you gonna you're gonna learn to like me, alright? So I know you got this right guard, right? His name is Smith. And I know you have this outstandingly tall cornerback. You know, he's just wasting space on your roster. Yeah, this dude right here. He may be in your project or whatever. I just don't care. I'm gonna give you my uh my my very first pick of the fourth round. How about that? For them two characters that you got. Oh, look at that. He said, yeah, yeah, that just that works out. Alright. Look at that. Well, and with that, I think I have successfully got demolished this roster, let's be honest. So I've traded away Andre Johnson and Davis, both of our outstanding outside tackles, defensive ends, and it's just linebackers, cornerbacks, free safety, all of them gone. And this is what we're left with, ladies and gentlemen. We only have one, two, three, four. Four outstanding athletes above 85 overall. And I think I can sign a couple of more that are, but man, this is. This roster is going to be hard to build. So let's see our actual additions. We got Aaron Rodgers here at 76 overall. Halfback wise, we got Steven Jackson who's at 82. He's one point higher than Davis. That's all I did. Uh, we got Frank Gore as well as a versatile backup. Probably play some fullback position as well. Uh, we got tight ends Randy McMichaels. Uh, he is an outstanding tight end. Uh, we brought in uh, Mr. Wiggins. We got Matt McCoy who didn't pan out so well. It doesn't look like it. We got Storginia. Storgin. I don't know how to say that. I'll just call him Drew. He is a 6'8 guide of a center. <laughs> he will tower over everybody. Uh, we got Goldberg. You hear that? Goldberg? Y y yeah, you know, that is the legitimate Goldberg right there. <laughs> uh, we got Smith right there. And last but not least, we got Brown, who is a good tackle, and Eastman on the outside as well. That's all we did was beef up the offensive side. We didn't really get that much out of the defensive side, like no good linebackers or something like that. But okay, you know, he's 75 overall. That's a good base to build off of that. By, by me saying that, I'm saying we're going to get burned every dang play. Well, you know, 77 overall awareness. That, that ain't that bad. So we, we can make it work. But anyways... Thank you for watching. Uh, next episode coming up, I will have sign. Uh, I will sign my free agencies for this class, and it should be great. So, if you enjoyed today's episode and you're ready to see some more, go ahead hit that like button. Better yet, subscribe so you never miss a dang episode. And it's been the king of let's plays, and I'll see all of y'all uh, next time. Later.